Okay, guys. So let's dig into this box. I just found it. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. Um, like I say, um, I'm not even sure how much or what's in here. So I left this a year and a half or so ago, and I took a bunch. I took a bunch of tobacco with me to Ukraine, and I remember thinking this will last me two years. Now it's been um, just over a year and a half, and I don't think I've smoked like a third of what I brought with me. <laughs> oh, Swampwood Pipe Tobacco, sweet and sour, so, uh, from December 10th, 2015. Now I bought this and sort of sealed it up the best I could, and um, with a note, and I believe. Um, the note says that this was the very first batch of sweet and sour, the very first tin of sweet and sour, number 001. So I'm hanging on to that one as a keepsake. We got some Burley mixture from Roland von Bremen. I wonder who gave me that one. Uh, dang, I'm trying to remember. I think I like this stuff. Although, like I say, it's kind of, I got a horrible memory. Got some Peter Stokobies from uh, two years ago. You got some Robert McConnell, the original Red Virginia pipe tobacco, and also from just over two years ago. So I remember I bought two tins of this stuff. I think the other tin's probably in this box someplace. And um, one I cracked open, and then the one I kept to sort of age left it in the tin because if I remember correctly I bought it based on a review um, that um, Earl Grey did Let's see here's some Grey Haven that's a McClellan Bellend I didn't rem think I had that one anyways yeah this uh, Robert McConnell and I heard a, a, a review that said the aged tastes completely different than the fresh stuff Although, obviously, I didn't smoke it fresh. I left both. I put one in the jar. Okay, guys, check this out. Um, this is a pipe holster. Handmade. So, I'm going to have a contest coming up. A giveaway for a thousand sub. And I think this will be part of the uh, winner's package. A pipe holster. <laughs> what else we got in here? Dunhill Durbar. I never smoked this. I think this is one of the very first tobaccos I bought. July 2014. So what's that? Three and a half years, maybe? I think... I'm not sure if that is one of the first ones I bought. Or that was a rebuy. Re but I don't think I've ever smoked it, actually. Anyways, what do we got? Okay, so here's that Robert McConnell. So I got the tin. And... I think that's just the date I purchased it. I'm not sure how old it really is. So it might have some... Somebody said it was hot, like a hot sauce, spicy hot. And then somebody said it was like chocolatey. So <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, some more Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. Same stuff. Same stuff. Okay. Some Orlick Golden Slice. Also, two plus years. Sweet. Some Dunhill Flake. Oh, um, Pie and Coffee told me to get this, and he sent me a sample of it, and I didn't really like it, but um, I figured I'd get one and let it sit for a while. Some Escudo. I didn't know I had Escudo. That's actually been on my wish list. Forgot I had some. It says 5.15, two years and five months. Early morning pipe, March 2014. Almost four years. This stuff I've been really enjoying lately, and I'm glad to find that I have one more jar of it. Because I think I just finished, it cracked open my last jar of it in Ukraine. I took three of these to Ukraine, and I left one. All right, so that's what I got left. So this is probably like a quarter of what I took with me, or even less. Um, yeah, and like I said, I still got 
three quarters probably of what I took with me. So, uh, yeah. I got, I got a bunch of tobacco there. And this is what I got here. And then I've put in a couple more orders. I got, um, well, I'll show them to you when I get them. I gotta go pick them up. <laughs> I got one waiting for me in the Portland, Oregon. And I got another one waiting for me in Nashville, Tennessee. I gotta go pick up during my trip here. Alright guys, take care.